Hey guys, it's Wids. If you're a controller player and was hesitant to play Last Epoch because it's a PC only game right now, I have good news to share based on my experience with the game. I've tried the game in the past, but the controller support was not that appealing as far as I can remember. But now I'm here to tell you, it's really smooth and it's almost like I'm playing on my Xbox. And it really is plug and play. But to make sure your controller is ready to go, just go to the Steam settings and navigate towards the controller option and make sure the type of controller that you are using is enable or install, whether it's PlayStation, Nintendo Switch, or Xbox. In my case, I use both my regular Xbox controller and the Elite Series 2 controllers, and they work with no issues. Now let's go into some demonstration of the controls. All right, in the game right now, so A, you can interact with the A button. And then based on what skill you put on your bar and which buttons you assign them to. So X for me would be this, as you can see on the bottom. And then B would be this. And the right bumper would do whatever skill I have on it. And then the left trigger would do my teleport. And then the right trigger would do one of my best move. And if I go to my inventory, you use the A button to interact with your inventory. Now this is what I would talk about when it comes to inventory management. In my opinion, it is better to actually use your mouse and keyboard. So I would use the mouse for this if I want to move something to my inventory. It's a lot faster. But that doesn't mean you cannot do the same thing, you know, with your controller. So if I want to use the controller, I can just, you know, use my analog stick, the right one, and then I can just click on things and then just move them. And as you can see, this is a longer process if you were to use that. That's the reason why I would prefer to use the mouse in that situation. Now, if I want to go see my skills, I'll use the view button. That's the one next to the left analog stick. If I click and hold it, then I can use my right stick to actually go and use whatever option that I want. Say I want to go to the passive action. I would just put the directional pad on that and then I would let go of the view button. And then now with the all the options are available for me to navigate towards. And then in also that situation, I would rather use my mouse rather than using the controller. Now, for some people that might be annoying to them, they want to do everything with their controller. But to me, it is faster to actually use the mouse when you're using those options. And with the search in-game options, it's easier to use the mouse and keyboard. And that way I can type for something. Let's say I want to type for a skill. Let's say I use Glacier. And then anything that corresponds to Glacier would highlight. So this is what you would do. This is probably the better option to use the mouse and keyboard when you're using those kind of interaction with the UI. And now one of the best thing about this, so when you come to the skills, you can actually just switch the skill, put them with whatever button that you want. Like for instance, if I want to do that, I'm going to go back to the view button. That's the one next to the left analog stick you hold this and then since i want to switch the skill you can see on the right side under the wheel it says swap action bar skills hide quests and also hide so the a button would be what i would use to actually navigate towards the skills and then i can just switch them so you see on the bottom i can switch let's say i want to switch the right trigger one and I'm just going to go and click on it and then I can switch it to whichever one that I want to use for the right trigger. So that's what you would use to actually swap the skills and make them more comfortable for you if you were to use it that way. And then everything else, like for instance, if you want to use your potion, that's the left bumper. So if I had any potion in game and I would press the left bumper, that would do it. Now, if I want to go back to the options menu, so I'll do the same thing, just click the view button and then there's an extra button that you can use where it says more, it's the right trigger. And then I can just go and use this and then now I'm in the settings. 
Although you can use a hot key on your keyboard to do that, which is the good thing, but I can show you, you use it with the controller and that's be the same thing. So then now when I, while I'm here, I would go and use my mouse. Now you can use the controller if you decide to want to do that. Just same thing like we were talking about, just bring the right analog stick over and then you can start, you know, pressing button like this. But to me personally, although I have that option, I would rather use the mouse and then I use it that way because it's a lot faster. So that's what I would do. And then this is where if you want to make some changes and you can just do that here, especially the overlay map zoom, the overlay map option, you can just change this to make it more transparent, you know, increase the opacity. And then that way you'll be able to see the layout of the map, the overlay map while you are in combat or whatnot. And you can use all those options are here for you to use and use whatever you want. Now, the next thing, if you want to change the key input, you click on this one. Now it's a controller. When it comes to the controller, just you click on one thing that you know of, you will get that option. And then if you click, let's say for instance, let, I'm going to use the potion as an example right here. Click the left bumper. Now it's going to give you that option to do that. And then I'm going to click it again. As you can see now, now you can see all the options you have as far as the buttons for the controller. But if you want to change something right now, as it stands right now, I have not been able to change anything. I know there might be a bug with this, but uh, if you know something in the comment, just let us know then we can just maybe change things. But sometimes a lot of people are talking about they can't change the Y, they want to change the Y. You can see minion attack command, it says the Y. That's if you use a character that use minions, then you don't want to mess with this. But if you don't use a character that use minion, then you, you want to say you want to replace this, so you're just going to go here and click on it and say that you want to replace it. So now on the controller, you would press the button that you want to change it with, right? And it would say replace it, even though it gives you the option, it says that right shoulder is already in use. Do you want to replace it? Let's say you want to say yes and replace it. And then you say done. Now, if you go back. And let's say I already know use potion. I'm going to do the same thing. Just use the left bumper again. So now I'm back to this. If I go all the way down to the bottom, you see nothing really changed. So now I don't know how to change this. So I'm not worried about it right now because I'm playing the game all right with no issues. So I'm not worried about that. But if you know something in the comment, just let us know. And maybe we'll be able to change it. Because I know there are probably some people that are already be able to change it. But the thing that I would suggest is if you have one of these controllers like the Elite Series Xbox controllers, you can just map it from the software with the Xbox controller and then just change the button that way and see if that would work for you. Anyway, maybe it's just me, but I think they really did a good job in the controller support department with the official launch of the game. There's a lot of PC games that I would like to play, but the lack of control super really turns me away. With what the devs did with Last Epoch, I think the game is ready for consoles. In my humble opinion, that is. I could never say anything like this about a game like Lost Ark, where you have thousands of buttons to customize on your hotbar. It's insane. Which is one of the reasons I stopped playing Lost Ark, even though I really liked that game. But I realized it was not for people like me who are more comfortable with a controller. All of that said, in my experience with Last Epoch, you only need to worry about six skills on your hotbar. And you have the option to pick and choose which skills to put on your hotbar. This gives players a choice to prioritize the skills they want to use, rather than a cumbersome mess. In any case. The same buttons you would normally use if you were to play on consoles are the same ones you use in Last Epoch as far as my experience with the game. Though I am not far into the game, so I don't know if that would change in later end game, but I've seen some people at the highest levels and I didn't see anything that different on their hotbar. Now, that is not to say everything is perfect because when it comes to the inventory management, it's not as smooth as something like Diablo 4, for instance. Not that Diablo 4 inventory management was or is that smooth with controllers, but it's not bad. Additionally, I think with Last Epoch, 
It is better because you can use your mouse to manage the inventory. Furthermore, if you have to search for something via the in-game help search option, you can use your mouse and keyboard. That's also better and faster in my opinion. Do you know how many console players that would love the option to use the mouse and keyboard for things like that? Many of them. So whenever I have to use things like inventory management or searching for help in-game, I use the mouse and keyboard. It's faster and better. So that's not an issue for me at all. Plus, that does not take anything away from the controller. Anyway, I know not everyone is going to feel the same way because circumstances with the controller may vary from person to person, but I really think while it's not perfect, it's good enough where many of us can play the game and enjoy it, which is a win in my book. That said, if you're still hesitant, I hope you give it a try. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one.